Tupac influenced me, like, watching from Digital Underground, and how he started off being a background dancer, then they let him get on the mic. I actually seen him, seen it in the movie first, and then to see that, and then when he came out, would I get around, and just to see, like, the life in there, like, the park life in there, the fun in there, the excitement, you know, like, that was good times. And then when he got deep, to see the serious side of things, Seen that, see, to see that in levels, it made me, it inspired me. It was my idol, you know. To see that, it made me feel like I can do that too. It's hearing people like Timberland, you know, hearing those real drums, you know. It started, I started off writing poetry, and then took it to doing music or whatever over other people's beats at first, and then eventually, you know, that changed into me wanting to make beat. You know, and a lot of old school music too. Riding, riding my dad's cat and listening to old school music that soothed me. It was like a peace of mind. And it just, it just took off and made me one big package to do everything from, from rapping to, to making beats and producing. You know, wanted to create something big, something powerful. And I've been doing this for about, I'd say about 12 years. 12 years, you know, had the hard times with it where, you know, I was complacent with it. And then when I started to feel like I got some confidence into it, to actually making some revenue off of it, and, you know, reaching out to other artists and really turning it into something, really networking and turning it into something. What makes me different? Cause I always listen. I don't ever keep my ears closed. I always listen and try to find something, an outlet or something new, or some type of sound that's different from every genre, whatever course. You know, I never get put myself in a box. You know. Well, I work with. I mainly stay. I, I stay within my group within my group and so like I mean I do a lot of shit with my brother King Tully you know shout out to him and uh, as far as uh, producers like one producer and I say that's uh well two producers because you had Looney in started messing with him but me know that was that was the guy who taught me how to you know really make beats and stuff like that but as far as artists I, I, don't, I don't really I don't really do too much with other artists Constantly work, never stop working. And if you're serious about it, there's no excuses to it. You have no excuses. If you really put your put your all into it, it's gonna cost you. I mean, it's gonna take a lot of dedication. It's gonna take a lot of focus and a lot of patience. This shit don't come overnight. If you expect it to come overnight, you might as well get out of it now because it, there's you know this is a marathon. It's not a race. So if you think that you're gonna come in this and you're just gonna be successful. You're gonna have some downfalls. You're gonna have some tribulations. It's gonna get rocky. You know, you know, some people are that talented they might find somebody to, that'll put them on and stuff like that. But, you know, it comes from a lot of determination, have your mind set on doing this shit. You know, you're not gonna get this overnight. If you do get it overnight, you was blessed. But, you know, you gotta work in mysterious ways. You gotta do what you have to do in order to survive in this. And you gotta constantly work. 
you know. And, and the main thing I can say is, you know, don't alienate the folks around you. Don't let, you know, don't get caught up in the negativity with other folks, you know. And if you hear somebody being negative about it or being beside itself about it, you know, give them that confidence to, you know, put the blinders on the fly straight. Keep going. It took, it took a lot of focus, man, like to do that. It really took a lot because, I, you know, one minute I'd be on making beats and then I'd be like, man, I can't rap for shit. And then the, the next minute I'm like, I can rap and I can't do a beat for shit. And after a while, I'm like, you know what? To be able to do both of these, fuck that. I'm going to run with it. I'm going to just run with it and do what I can in it and, and just keep uh keep escalating. I mean, that's how, you know, and I really like being on that mic. Like, it's refreshing to be on that mic. Yeah, I'm working on uh, I'm working on two projects. I'm working on this project with uh, King Toe. We ain't really came up with a title for it, but, but we got that in the works right now. You know, that's a that's a six month project I've been working on, and then my solo project that that'll come after we come out with that. But I mainly focus being a producer. I mainly focused on my artists. You know, my time will come, but my artists come first. So I'm putting that the project that I put my production in is what. I'm mainly on, and that's you know, get rid. Of, what is it? Get free or die humble. SMG2, and that's that's coming soon. So that's what my mind is on. You know, a lot of people want to be out in that spotlight first. I don't. I don't need that. I want to see my artists. I put a lot of work into that. This is years in the making. So you know, that's the project SMG2 that I'm really looking forward to. I mean, it's a great project.